textbook the few activities are given see there here the first activity so when when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field okay see there this activity clearly explains clearly explains we take a coil of wire ab coil of wire ab having a large number of turns large number of turns okay connect the end of the coil to a galvanometer so we connected in a galvanometer then take a strong bar magnet so here we take the strong bar magnet and move it north pole towards the end of the so the north pole it's displaced in the end of the b b of the coil okay so here the deflection we can observe the deflection in the galvanometer okay then here what there is a momentary deflection in the needle of the galvanometer say to the right side because the magnet it responds to the coil okay then next so this indicate the presence of current in the coil ab the current in the coil ab the deflection becomes zero then the momentum the motion of the magnet uh, stops so once we stop the magnet what uh, the uh, the reading it shows a uh, zero next uh, now withdraw the north pole of the magnet away from the coil now the galvanometer is deflected toward the left side because we withdraw the what uh, the magnet showing that current is now step up in the direction opposite to the first so place the magnet stationary at the point near to the coil keeping its north pole toward the end b of the coil we see that galvanometer needle deflect toward the right side so first what uh, it deflect to the right side when the coil is moved toward the north pole of the magnet similarly the needle move toward left uh, when the coil is moved uh, away okay so here so what we find out uh, see there the south pole of the magnet toward the end b of the coil the deflection in the galvanometer would just be opposite to the previous uh, case okay then when the coil and the magnet are both stationary there is no deflection in the galvanometer there is no deflection in the galvanometer it is thus clear that the motion of magnet with the respect to the coil produce an induced electromotive force so which set up an induced electric current in the circuit okay so next uh, 